Bounty Hunter version 3, version 4 maybe is here. And if you don't know what Bounty Hunter is, it's a PKing mini game located within the wilderness. We've had many iterations throughout the years, starting with the BH crater that was literally intended to substitute PKing completely way back in 2007. And we had a couple versions here on Old School RuneScape in the past 10 years, which were removed due to bots and people exploiting the reward system for profit. But it is back today for the first time in years in another crater form, and I'm gonna be trying it out. In these blogs leading up to this update, they're wanting to try and get 1v1 edge style honor PK and back. So in these craters, you can't teleport, you can't use protection prayers, and entangling and freezing effects are disabled inside the crater too. So your ice barrage and your entangle won't hold anyone in place. This allows for their fast paced honor style PK and that they're trying to get back. There's also a bunch of rewards that you may be familiar with too. Full Vestas, Thaddeus, Morgans, and Zuriels are back in the game and they're only obtainable through BH points and require 78 defense to wear. There are also weaker corrupt versions of them being released for people with 20 defense and above. The weapons are coming too. The VLS and the Vesta Spear require 78 attack, the Warhammer needs 78 strength, and the Javelins and the Axe need 78 range, and the Staff only needs 78 magic as well as 50 attack. And on top of that, a bunch of different weapon imbues have come out for the Dark Bow, the Bow Chest Anchor, the Dragon Longsword, the Dragon Mace, and the Abyssal Dagger. And I'm hoping to cover every single new item and piece of content. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of it. To get to and start BH, you take this red portal in the southeast corner of Ferex Enclave to get to the lobby of Damon's Crater. It has a bank chest, a loot chest, and two pools of refreshment, and a coffer which you need to deposit some GP into before you can start playing. If you're intending on PKing Scald, which I would recommend as that's the true way to PK, you only lose 10k GP from your coffer per death. But if you want to unskull PK, your death will cost you a different amount depending what combat bracket you're in. That's everything I can possibly cover before the update comes out. It drops in literally like 11 minutes. I feel like a kid on Christmas day. I'm very, very excited. I am gonna be using a bunch of different accounts, but this one already has the VLS on it from previous BHs and it is a pretty nice account. So I'm gonna be starting with this one, but obviously we'll try and try everything out as time goes on. So let's jump into it. I think we are loading in okay. Bounty Hunter is back. Head to the Bounty Hunter world. I am already on a Bounty Hunter world. We are on... Th oh, no, I'm not. I'm on 424. I'm not already on a Bounty Hunter world. Um, 318 or 319. I want to go to 319, but if 318 is going to be the active one, then I'll go to 318. It doesn't really matter. I live in New Zealand. I'm going to have bad ping regardless. Okay, let's go. Teleport to the Bounty Hunter arena. Gang. Okay, I've got to check the coffer, which is over here. So this is the coffer which you need to put GP in. I'm just going to put 100k in there for now because I'm going to be Skulled PKing anyway. I don't think it really matters um, how much GP I have in the coffer because you only lose it if you're unskulled PKing. And if you're Skulled PKing, I'm pretty sure it just takes 10k regardless. Here's the loot chest. Obviously, I haven't got loot any, uh, yet. And here is the bank chest. Um, all right, let's go. All right, I'm ready to go PK. Let's see if anyone will come out and let's see if I can get a fight going. Um, you need at least 150 coin. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn. Okay. So maybe you need to put more money than that because for the main bracket is more. But I'm sure I won't lose it. Maybe that's just to make sure. Get out here, pussy, someone says. All right. Okay, you exit and it just teleports you. Wow, what the hell? So it can teleport you to any one of these? Or I guess, I'm not sure which exit I took. Let me just venge up. Um, let's see if it's going to give me a target. It's searching for a target currently. All right, it might be a good idea to bring a stamina potion. Um, okay, I've got a fight. 26k trick. I'm going to run towards him. Where is this geezer? GL. Okay, he's fighting me just like that. Okay, I've got a VLS. I don't think he knows that. I guess I'll turn off my smite because he's not scald. Um... So I'm not scald actually right now, so if I do die... Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, this guy's actually hitting decent. Let's see what happens here. Is he trying to take me out of run? He is. Let's VLS him. 46? Let's go again. Oh, 61. That's not as good. Fuck that. Let's just axe that. 40? Oh my god. Oh my god. As you guys can tell, I'm not very used to this kind of PK. But, yeah. I wonder what his plus one is. What is, uh... Oh, shit. He's got an AGS. Okay, I got to be careful of that. Definitely got to be careful of the AGS. A VLS that no armor? Oh, I hit a 13, bro. You trolling me. I hit a 13. Axe that? Oh. Come on. I don't want to waste this last VLS. Damn, he is running away. He's just straight up running away because you can. Don't be a fucking bitch, dude. Oh. VLS that? Come on, 12. Is he just going to straight run out? 
Because there's literally no teleporting or anything, so you've got to run to the escape. Exit? Dude, this guy doesn't know where the exit is. Come on, VLS. Come on, VLS. Finish him. Finish him. Oh, is it here? He might have found it. He might have found it. Where is it? Is there no fucking exit? Oh, he can't find it. Bro, I literally don't have enough run to keep this up. I don't have enough run to keep this up. Ah, oh, damn it, dude. He's gonna realize- Oh, he's walking too! He's walking too! Smite him! Come on, smite him. He can't find the exit. I have no idea where it is. I have no idea where it is. Neither does he, by the looks of things. Come on, VLS. Come on, VLS. Do some damage. Grats, I guess. <laughs> this guy couldn't find the exit. I have no idea where it is either, but I'm gonna take my first kill of BH. Good fight. Oh my god. Okay, I need to find the exit now too, bro. Oh god. Okay, I got his emblem. I got his coins. Okay, I have some immunity. So you have 15 seconds of immunity. There's no loot keys in here. Or maybe I just don't have... I've never even got loot keys by the looks of things. Let me pick up that emblem. Surely there's an escape somewhere. Where is the exit? There has to be. I'm going to log out. What happens if I log out? Okay, so if you log into a different world, it takes you out of the portal. <laughs> okay, we really need to find where the exit is quickly because that guy did not have a good time. So this is the tier one emblem and these are the reward emblem traders. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the Vestas chain body. Cost 800 points. Damn, this plate skirt's 750 points. The helm is 550. So I guess it scales based on what it is. The Zerials obviously cost less. What does a VLS cost me? 750 points. The status warmer is 550. Um, all these imbues don't cost too much. So I've got two BH points at the moment. So one tier one emblem is only worth two points. And every kill you get, it upgrades, and that's worth more points. And obviously you get points per kill. So let's see what we can do here. Now I want to be very clear. I still don't know where the exit is either. Because you teleport into this area. I don't actually know how you exit. So let's see if I get a fight. Surely there's an exit somewhere. Oh, maybe you got to run all the way into the center. I would imagine that's what you have to do. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> that guy, all you have to do to exit is run into the center again from the, from wherever you are. Is literally run into the center like this. I've got a target, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look for my fight. Oh, is he, he might just ride, try and run away and MSB me. Hopefully not. Okay, okay, we got a fight. Good luck to us. Good luck to them. Well, good luck to me more than him, to be honest. Oh my god, he's hitting 30. Oh my god, what the hell? He's hitting big as hell. Okay, I did just safe there, but I did think he was going to spec me, let's be honest. I did think he was going to spec me. Let's just go for the VLS. 42. Going again. 60 for the KO. Good fight. Oh my god. He had no idea I had the VLS. Okay, this is going swimmingly so far. So I've got... You've killed your target and received two points. Which gives you a total of four bounty hunter points. So you get two points per kill. And then you upgrade the emblem as well. So how many points in total do I have now? I've got four points like that. And I've got an emblem which is another four points. So I could have eight points in total, but obviously I'm gonna try and keep upgrading this right now. Okay, how much loot did we get? 1.1 mil, nice. So we've already made 2.7 mil plus this emblem so far. Oh my God, he's coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in angry, bro. Stella Rock, he's coming in angry. He's got a D-skim set up. I assume he's got an AGS with that. This is how people should be learning how to PK. That's a decent set to use. D-skim, fighter torso, fire cape, AGS, doesn't cost you at all. I could just be VLS prodding this man right now, but I don't know how much fun that would be for him, to be honest. Um, we're not hitting anything. Oh, and he's dropping it. Oh, what the hell? No way you're running, bro. No way you're running. Okay, we broke his Venge. Nice. Venge that. VLS. Oh, and I hit a zero, bro, and he hits a zero, too. How unlucky is that? How unlucky is that, my friend? Is he just going to run away now? Surely not, bro. He just uses his specs and run away, okay? I assume you are going to get some of that, unfortunately. But um, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Bench that. Come on, dead. Oh my god. So despite the obvious issue of people using their specs then just running, there's also these unskilled looters who will pretty much just waste your time as their target because you can't get a new target while you have one of these guys as your target. 
Okay, so unfortunately, if you skip too many targets, I think it's three, you'll be prevented from getting a new target for 30 minutes. I've been going to get my spec back, and obviously the last guy I just had as a target wouldn't even fight me, so I skipped him. Um, unfortunately, this means I can't get a target on this account for 30 more minutes, so I'm actually going to switch accounts. This is a 78 defense, 75 attack account, 110 combat. I'm going to be doing MSB to AGS and MSB to Gmall PKing on here. I think it'll probably be quite fast-paced, and I won't have to skip targets. Hopefully, I'll get a lot of fights on it. Put some money in the coffer and let's go PKing. All right, so it's giving me a target. Silly Frog, 111 combat. Let's see how this goes. Silly Frog, okay, damn, he's in full carols in the lot. If this is a big kill, if I can get it. He's got an AGS too. Oh, fuck. He's got me a little bit scared, not gonna lie. Gotta be careful with this one. Oh my days. Is he just gonna keep running around like a crazy man? AGS that, dead. Oh, I hit a seven, bro. I, if I hit a 67 there, I would have been a very rich man indeed. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Gotta eat there. Got to eat there. Oh, okay, that's both his specs gone. Holy fuck, this kid is decimating me, dude. He's absolutely- Oh, wait, what? It's not even both his specs gone. What the fuck? What the fuck? AGS dead. Oh, that's another 60 HP spec I could have killed him on. But hey- Oh, he's dead! What the hell? I just whacked him to death. I think that's a huge kill, dude. I actually think that's a huge kill. I'm pretty sure. Bro, that is the beauty of this account. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna stay on this account. What the hell? Oh my god. If you are enjoying the video, please consider subscribing for my 535 children back home. Oh, it was only 3 mil, a full cow set. Still, that's really, really nice. GG, dude. So you can also just straight up uh, go rogue. You can just go rogue. So there's a guy right here with a Void Waker who literally just ran out. So I'm just going to attack him, see if he wants to fight. Or if he's just going to run away. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going rogue, bro, because I think this guy's... His name's 300 for a bag, bro. That's a pretty goaded name. I'm pretty sure it could just assign me him as the target. Oh, it didn't. It gave me someone else. Damn. I'm going to have to go for this quick. I'm going to have to go for this quick. Adjust that, damn it. Oh, I'm going to get PJ'd for sure. So this guy can PJ me freely whenever he wants. So this could go really bad. Adjust that. Oh, that's not good at all. That is not good at all. Please don't PJ me, Nakawa, dude. Is this guy going to PJ me? Dead. Oh, that could have been it. That so could have been it. Damn. All right, my target's here, so I'm going to get ready for him. Oh, fuck. This isn't the exit. Oh shit, my target's chasing me, bro. My target's chasing me. Where's the exit? Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I, I dude, I, this is just like the guy in the first clip, bro. You gotta make sure you make it to your exit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Yo, chill out, Nico. Dude, chill out, brother. Okay, so you. Okay, you gotta make sure you're proactive about your escapes, dude. Or it could be a wrap. It could be a wrap. Where is my target? There he is, Nakao W. He's got a fire cape this time. He had an Ava's earlier. I think he's realized that is not the play. Good luck to him, however. I've only got one spec currently, so the Gmall is kind of pointless, but hey, it do be what it do be. I should probably bank the Gmall from now on. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's vent that. Oh, I'm not getting the hits I need, though. AGS dead. 76! Holy shit. Good fight, my brother. Okay, and then you get the emblem to start off with. So I think if you don't have an emblem and you kill someone, you always get an emblem, which is pretty nice. 520k loot, just like that. So I've got four BH points from that, and then I've got two BH points from this. Oh, that pool gives spec back, so you don't have to go to your house to get spec. Holy shit, I just realized that. Damn, that's sick. Damn, okay, so this guy just hit me. I thought he might. So th this guy's going... Oh my god, bro, I'm getting fucked up. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Yo, chill out, guy. What the fuck? This guy's going dummy on me, dude. Oh, I have got a target now. Okay, so... That's not two poggers. So laggy. Yeah, that wasn't great. My target's probably going to come attack me, but I'll fight this guy until then. Um, He's 30 meters away. Can I kill this guy within 30 meters? Come on. Avenge that. Dead. I hit a 0 on 62. That's so killable. That is so, so killable, unfortunately. Risk it for the biscuit. Dead. Good fight. 77. 
And that is why you go rogue, my friends. Good fight to my bro, Bruno Bars. He drops the fuck. Uh, let me go get my loot before my target comes and hits me. <laughs> a little bit laggy as in a release update would be 757k. Let's use this portal to regen our spec and let's go. Max Amelia, it's a Darocker. Oh fuck, it's a Darocker with an MSB. That is risky business, bro. That is very risky business. He's gonna have an AGS. Oh my god. I'm already almost dead, bro. I'm legit already almost dead. What's going on? This MSB is gonna have to pog off. Oh, and I'm dead. Good fight. What the fuck? Okay, and this is the 60 attack, 1 defense pure with the Infernal Cape. This is probably one of the most active brackets that BH will be on. Uh, pure PKN is just so, so active. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm actually going to go in with. Alright, I got to fight with this guy, Human Ink. Damn, I wish I had the DDS for him. He's a pure 2. Didn't even let me skull or anything, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh my days. Claw Gmo, dead. Into the 2H for the KO. A 41, holy fuck. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. I'm pretty sure that guy could have out eaten of that if he wanted to. Um, where's all his loot? Uh, there's the emblem and I've got the loot key, obviously. So we've got an emblem now again. This is a lot of fun, dude. This is a lot of action. 227k loot. Regen the spec. Let's go find another target. So uh, what? Is, do I just have a naked guy as my fucking target? Claw him out. Claw him out. Come on, before he gets out. Before he gets out. We've literally got looters in this BH. Are you trolling me, dude? We've got looters. Okay, well, I get an upgrade from that. And I get whatever his loot key is. But I doubt there's anything in the loot key. So I killed that guy and he was unsculled. So I'm actually curious to see how this works. Because you do lose some money from your coffer that you deposited if you are unsculled. Obviously, this is the 82 combat bracket. So... 50k, I wonder if that's what you get in total, because I doubt he looted 50k cash. You probably get 50k from someone's coffer if they're unsculled. To be honest, I think that should be more, because otherwise you're just going to have people running around like that. Alright, I got a fight versus this guy, Drop Spade, he's another target. Is he just camping the Dragon Crossbow? He is. That's an interesting one. I think it's DC Bow into G Maul. Claw G Maul that, dead? Good fight, holy fuck. I think he might have pulled out a DDS, but the Claw G Maul took him out of the game way too quickly. I didn't even see what a spec weapon was. We're now on a tier 3 emblem. Alright, how much did that man have for us? 200k loot. Damn, why did I already know this guy was not going to be sculled? Okay. So if it isn't obvious, I'm not the best at this style of PKing, and honestly, that's the beauty of it. You don't have to risk a lot, you can pretty much kill anyone and get killed by anyone. And all of the brackets are pretty active right now as it just came out. Obviously, there is room for improvement. I'd really like to see automatic sculling for everyone, so there is no unsculling. I think unsculled PKing just leads to a lot of issues and a lot of rushing, and I just think it would be fair to everyone if everyone was sculled. But if unsculling is to stay, the amount you risk from your coffer definitely needs to be increased. I do also think you should be allowed to use protector prayers outside, at least from anyone that isn't your target. Maybe for your target only, you can't use protection prayers, because I saw a lot of rushing and people just being attacked for their supplies when they maybe didn't want to fight, and that's definitely going to scare new people and noobs away. Their rewards are obviously also all untradeable, which does kind of suck what they've done that to combat bots and farms exploiting the update for profit. I get that, I just wish there was an alternative. Look at the rewards, I just think they're way too expensive as well. This style of PKing is bound to have deaths, and the average PKer isn't going to be able to upgrade an emblem all the way to tier 10, and a tier 10 is only worth 56 points out of the 800 you need for like a Vestas chain body anyway. You get two kill, you get two points per kill as well, so you need to get a lot of kills before you're getting full sets of armor, or even some of the weapons, like a VLS is what, 750 points. If Jax are proactive with changes, and don't only listen to me, but what the rest of the community wants as well, I'm actually hopeful this can stay active, so let me know in the comments what you guys, what kind of changes you want to see to the content. Also, let me know what reward you guys want to see me PK with, like whether it's the VLS or the Battle Chest Anchor imbue, and I'll try my best to get my hands on them through Bounty Hunter and make that video for you. Subscribe if you're new because I'll be making loads of videos on this. This is basically just being like my first two to three hours of PKing. And leave a like if you've enjoyed my first time BHPKing in literal years.